So this is a lot update. This is my Brazilian pepper lot, so to speak. Uh, it's April 18th, 2018. Uh, still have a uh, resident gopher tortoise. Kind of see his burrow has gotten larger as he's gotten grow, uh, larger. I think he'll be four in August. He was hatched right over in my yard there. Got a couple of um, mulberry trees planted these last year and they have fruits on them now these are edible they start out red and I don't know if you can see it turn a dark blue kind of purple color and they're pretty tasty some uh, milkweed there some this stuff is all pretty much native grasses there's a little saw palmetto there's some tropical sage, uh, which is this right here. Kind of that fiery type red color. More native grasses in here. Everything else was pretty much what I was able to leave when I did the clearing. Um, this is beauty berry. It's a really cool dark purple berry on it. It smells really good. It smells kind of like gin and tonic in my opinion, but some people might not like that smell. We also, um, I've discovered, have a resident armadillo. Um, this is some large saw palmetto. This was all on the lot. I was able to keep it, and you can see it's actually blooming right now. So the bees will be, and wasps, will be hanging out in here doing the pollination thing. And um, it'll produce berries that are used medicinally. The armadillo, I don't know if you can see it, but his hole or his home, his burrow is right down in there. And he comes out at night and he uh, digs holes in the, the yard looking for bugs and grubs and whatever else he dines on. So that's kind of a little saw palmetto patch. Um, these are viburnum, which are actually not a native but they're not invasive or anything they don't cause any problems and they're going to be kind of a privacy hedge they've grown an awful lot just in one year very fast growing and uh, hasn't even started raining yet so once everything starts raining once it starts raining everything will really take off which should start to happen more regularly oh, there's best of the doberman over there being a good girl Over here, don't really have anything planted yet. Um, these are some Kuntis, which are a type of cycad that are native to Florida. And uh, I'm not sure if they're endemic or not, but um, they're a host plant for the Atala butterfly, which I do not believe comes to Southwest Florida. But in any case, they're a pretty cool plant. This is all herbs in here. Got some lavender, which of course everyone knows what that smells like, right? Put you into a coma. Get some uh, nice big patch of oregano there, basil. Gonna make the pizza. Um, some onions, which onions actually about to bloom. Some rosemary, some thyme. Some good stuff. Just put in a couple of new um, rose hair for whatever's planted next. We got beets in the back, and some of those beets are ready to go. Uh, some cucumber up there. Back here, we got some raised beds. The raised beds have uh, peppers. Got some uh, clones over here of some in, uh, basil, uh, Indian blanket flour. Some seedlings, some tomatoes. And this is all corn. And this is this popped up three days ago. So all that growth is in the last three days. And there's some, this is a type of sponge, uh, which is really interesting. It basically looks like a cucumber and you slice it open and there's a natural sponge inside of it. And you can use the things for well over a year and they don't, um, they don't get any mold or anything on them. They're really resilient. So I think the beet right here, this guy looks like he's about about ready to go. I don't know if you can see that. I think my shadow's in the way. 
Lots of beets, and then I think if we look on here real closely, you can see a little baby cucumber. Pretty exciting. So that's it, that's my little update. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really to show you over here. Some firebush that needs to be cut back. Firebush is a native plant that gets real nice, brilliant uh, red and orange flowers. And all you do is chop them back every year. This one I did cut back. So you see it comes back in a nice shrub-like form. Uh, they're very moldable. They die back in the winter. So someone's doing laps over here. Just get a pine cone. That's pretty much it. It's an exciting update. Uh, next step here is I'm gonna put in about a dozen pine trees across the back of the lot. Um, just kind of uh, make it even more wooded than it is. Um, as it is in the afternoon, you get really great shade back here because I left everything that was in the front of the lot. Um, it just creates real nice uh, late day, mid afternoon to late day shade. Um, so the morning sun comes in behind me from the east. West is pretty much straight ahead here and uh, all day south, pretty much in this direction, I've got a nice canopy. And the path that goes out to the front of the lot doesn't really affect that just because of the way the trees are staggered. So it worked out nice. The oak trees really loving life now. This thing was covered with Brazilian peppers. You couldn't even see it. This is the mess area back here, which is um, compost, wheelbarrow, potting table, all that stuff. Festa.